Ahoy, me mateys! You never thought you'd see this again, now did ya? We're here at the final world of Donkey Kong Country 2. Ha 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 ha! So, hey, what's happening, everybody? It's Double RPG here, and welcome to another episode of Double RPG's Let's Play Live Commentary, and where we're gonna return back to Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest on the Super Nintendo. In today's episode, we are going through World 6, which is K. Rule's Keep, and uh, we will go through it entirely. And, uh,. You have to pardon my uh, pirate accent there, or my pirate buddy, because uh, he says that we're at the last world, which technically we're not, because we still haven't finished up the lost world yet. And there's one more world that's after this, before we have to finish up the lost world. But anyways, here we are at K. Rule's Keep, and let's go to the first level, which is called Arctic Abyss. So I take it this is going to be an icy level that we're going to go through, and rightfully so. Anyways... And you can see DK Island over there at the background. Just goes to show you that Crocodile Isle is very close to DK Isle, so, uh, yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Oh, can I get back up there? Actually, I think, uh, I think we want to take this pathway back over here. So, yeah, you never thought you'd see another episode of this coming from me, now did ya? Yeah, you thought that I... Uh, completely forgot about, you know, doing any more episodes of this, but nope, we are going to finish this up because I do want to get on with the next game, and I am thinking heavily about doing Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble, after this, since, you know, I am still doing the Donkey Kong 64 Let's Play, and that's going to be wrapping up pretty shortly, and uh, we'll finish up with this weekend, you know, we'll finish this weekend by finishing up uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, and hopefully by next weekend, we can get started with Donkey Kong Country 3, or hopefully so, and, uh, yeah, Donkey Kong Country 3 is gonna be another 100% uh, playthrough, where we will get through the whole thing at 100%, but, uh, I'll show you how to get at, get the game at 100%, you know, when we play through it, but, uh, for right now, let's just focus on what's at hand here, let's do the, uh, the fish charge right there with Enguard, and we get ourselves... A mini game to play so we need to collect the stars here and this is a little tricky in order to collect as many stars we're gonna need to uh, you know uh, dash using in guard or on guards uh, ability to uh, collect as many stars before the time runs out and if we manage to collect all those stars then we get ourselves another crim coin for our troubles very nice okay so uh, let's uh, go ahead and resume where we left off. oh some shuries or starfish with uh, big points on them. Big pointy things. <laughs> Ouch! Ouch! Ow, ow, owie, 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 owie. Okay, so let's go ahead and charge here. And uh, that doesn't really do my. Oh, come on! Bollocks to you! We're gonna kick your butt. Ah, oh, dang it, we missed. Ouch! Some shuries right there. Why did I not see them coming? Okay, I'll be right back, gamers, and we'll resume where we left off. Okay, here we are, back where we left off, and let's make sure that this time we don't try to have anything that will deter us for the rest of this level, and hopefully so. And, uh, let's take care of these, uh, puff tups there, and, uh, there's some more puff tups. Now, the difference with these puff tups than the other ones that can automatically explode after a set period of time is that they will remain, or they'll just keep, uh, puffing themselves up. And uh, let's get this Shuri for kicking our butts. Oh, we hit that one too. Let's fish charge here. And doing that, we get a hero coin for doing that. So you, you probably didn't even see that coming, huh? Yeah. All right. And uh, we should be getting closer to the end of the level from here on out. Oh, dang it. I missed. But there wasn't really anything of any relevant importance. So uh, let's just... Uh... Oh, actually, actually, there is. Letter G, yo. And we got all the Kong letters, and we get another extra life, and we're over 100 lives already. Interesting. And there were some puffed ups. Right? Oh, we missed the balloon, but it's okay. We still have enough lives, so uh, let's go ahead and just resume where we are. And there's a puffed up and uh, some more lock jaws that are going to give us trouble. And as you could tell, you could see the no in guard sign. So get past this point. We can't use in guard for the rest of this level. Let's see if we can get that extra life. Oh, very good, we did. You damn there, Diddy, my boy. Alright, Arctic Abyss has been finally completed. Or, it is finally complete. 
And we have uh, branching paths. We can either go to Cranky's Cavern or we can go to Club's Kiosk. But we're going to go to the next level, and that is Windy Well. So what holds us here? Oh, I see it's another one of these levels that looks very minish. And rightfully so. Ouch! Stupid beetles. And uh, I just uh, did that on purpose because I just wanted to see if there was anything underneath there, but there wasn't. Okay, so uh, let's resume where we left off and uh, make sure that anything doesn't happen to us for the rest of this uh, for the rest of this level. But actions speak more loudly than you know just words. But uh, we'll have to see where fate takes us this time. Hopefully, they can manage to. Uh, you know, keep us on our toes, but we'll have to see. And, uh, as we go through this level, it's one of those auto-scrolling levels based on the, uh, the gimmick of this stage. And the gimmick of this stage is the wind is, uh, carrying us through. So, yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, be careful from here on out and, uh, climb up the rest of the stage by using the wind to carry us up and, uh, avoid the zingers along the way and grab whatever you can as you continuously try to climb up. But yeah, it's yeah, this is what it is like for the uh, rest of the stage. Oh, can we get over there, please? And what's over here? Oh, bonus stage barrel. All right. And what do we play? Destroy them all. So we need to destroy all the enemies in this minigame in order to get our prize, huh? And this looks easy as cake, and rightfully so. We just have to defeat these flitters by bouncing on them, and then another crim coin is awarded for us. Huzzah, gamers. Huzzah. Okay, so... Uh, ouch! Dang it! I was, was so hasty there. Oh well. Okay, so uh, let's just pick back up where we left off. And I know you can hit the up button if you want to make yourself continue to float up uh, a lot higher, but... Uh, <clears throat> you know what? That's okay. Okay, very good. Now, uh, let's see. What does... What's gonna happen for the rest of the stage? Well, we got some zingers that we had to avoid, and, uh... And we couldn't do anything right there, so, uh... Let's just, uh... Ouch! Dang it! Bollocks to you! Can we get over there? Oh, that was close! It's one of those things where you wish the controls were a bit more, uh, fluent! Oh, ouch! Owie! Not cool, man. Not cool. Okay, we're finally back, and we're gonna take care of this cut last right now. And evidently so. Alright, so, uh, let's go ahead and climb up here, and let's resume where we left off. Let's get Diddy Kong out of here, and... Uh, let's jump up here and try to smooth our way over here so we can grab this hero coin. And now we have 32 overall, so we have... Almost all... We have, like, what equates to... 80% of all the uh, Crim Coins obtained. Very good. Or, uh, not the Crim Coins, but the, uh, the Hero Coins, rather. Okay, so, now we're gonna shimmy our way through the rest of this level, see if we can actually beat it, finally. Just watch out for the Zingers! Oh, gosh, that always happens when the controls don't go your way that you want it to. But anyways. And it should be smooth sailing for the rest of this level, hopefully. Or, I always could be wrong, but, yeah, <laughs> Don't want to be too hasty here, Double R. You want to, uh, make your way past these, uh... Now I totally for have forgotten their names. Uh, with the, uh, the hooks. But, anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh! Actually, I'll be right back, guys. I want to grab that real quick. Okay, here we are, back here at the, uh, beginning part. Let's use the, uh... That right there, and uh, let's go ahead and play this mini game. And we have to ride squawks over some bramble bushes in order to grab all the stars. Yeah, I decided to come back here so I can at least take care of this without us having to. Oh gosh, <laughs> without us having to, uh, you know, waste our time doing other things before you know we complete this level. But anyway, we're done with this level now, so. Let's go ahead and uh, just fly our way over to the, uh... Okay, so it has the letter G. Okay, very good. 
but we don't have the letter K with us, but anyway, that's alright. Okay, so we're done with Windy Well, finally, even though we had to come back and grab the, uh, the, uh, barrel or whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, save our progress here at Kong College, so that way we don't have to worry about taking care of this place much later on. And it says we have 73% of the game left, and that's because we still haven't collected some of the Crim Coins that we missed out on in some of the other levels, but, but there are not that too many. Okay, Castle Crush. This is an auto-scrolling level where the platform that you're standing on will auto-scroll up this level. And you'll have to watch out for all the enemies that come after you, and uh, this is a good time to determine whether or not you can find anything good when going through these points. But let's take a let's take care of the Cutlass right there, and we have Rambi the Rhino. That's going to help us out, and uh, it's going to be quite an experience to have Rambi with us. I wonder if there's any other animal buddies aside from Rambi that we're going to play with. Possibly so, but we'll have to see. Oh, we don't want to do the charge right there yet. And there was a, uh, there was a, uh, cruncha there that was all red. You can't even hurt them without barrels or whatever, so... Uh, even the, uh, I think even the tag team attack where one of the Kongs throw, uh, throw their partner at cruncha won't work on them. So, yeah, kind of, kind of, uh, kind of bad luck right there, or too bad right there. I can't remember, what was their names? I, oh, uh, Crux, that's what their names are. I complete, why did I completely forget about their names? Their names being Crux. Anyways, now I finally figured it out, so, yay. Let's just continue our, our way up this, uh, auto-scrolling thingy thing of a jigger and uh now normally you would want to stand on the platform on top of the one that you're at so you can make it all the way over here but evidently i did not make it all the way to that secret door on time because that was a bonus stage area but uh anyway let's just continue to scroll oh and i missed the bananas too oh well we got another extra life oh you know what this is probably a good spot to where i can go ahead and i can uh you know commit suicide because I actually do want to uh, go back there and try to get the uh, bonus stage or whatever so let's go ahead and do that right now okay here we are back with Rami the Rhino and we're gonna have to charge through and we made it through the secret door so we need to destroy them all in order to get the uh, crim coin and we have 10 seconds but don't worry as long as we hit all the enemies while continuously, you know, scrolling up, we should be able to get it. And evidently, we did so. So, we have 17 Crim Coins on us, finally. And there's another, uh, Clap Trap. Right over there, even though that's what wasn't, that is not what they're called in this game, but we're just gonna call them Clap Traps. But, uh, I will give you their official name once is there, uh, once they, uh, once we make it out of here alive, or, you know, get through with this game fully you know in the first run that's when they'll give their uh, names their true names you know for when we uh see the credit sequence or the cast of characters okay so we have some uh, spinies there that we're going to give us trouble and i don't like it when spinies give us trouble okay here's squawks right here let's go ahead and use him to fly up the level so that way we can uh we can actually obtain something really good, you know, by doing this. And watch out for the zingers as you're scrolling up, because it can get pretty intense when you have zingers that are coming at you. Now, come down here. There is a hero coin right there. Let's grab the letter N, and uh, let's uh, use this TNT barrel, and we'll open up that secret passage. And we got another mini game to play, or bonus stage to go through. So we need to find the token. So, uh... Looks like this floor is going to go up fast, but we need to get in the gate, get to the areas that have openings, so that way we don't get crunched by the, uh, by the platform that will scroll us up into the, uh, bottom of the platforms that are above us. And then we should be able to get the, uh, the, uh, the Crim Coin, rightfully so. Okay, very nice. 18 Crim Coins on us. Well, technically... That would be, uh, 78. Since we're getting close to obtaining all the Crim Coins. 
But uh, we will go back and get some of those crim coins that we did miss out on. I'll let you know about that right now. Oh, and that spiny died. And the blue cl claptrap is going to uh, give us a uh, give us a bit of trouble, huh? Oh, okay. Now I remember what their names are. They're actually called clampons. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Sounds like another word that I'm familiar with, or that most of us are familiar with. But uh, I won't go any further than that. And I hear Diddy Kong screaming. And rightfully so, inside that barrel right over there. So we'll grab that as soon as we continuously scroll up here and avoid the zingers along the way. Okay, very nice. So let's go ahead and grab this and then wake up. Okay, we got the letter G, but we missed out on the letter K again. Oh well, we're doing fine. K? <laughs> Okay, now in this sequence, we need to watch out for the crooks that uh, shoot their hooks out at us. They do it in orderly fashion, but once they get squished, they are no longer a problem. Okay, we got some more spinies that we need to deal with, but we took care of them, rightfully so. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, continuously scroll up here. And uh, let's... Uh... We're getting closer to the end of the level, by the way, so it's not much else to say. And uh, I just found out that the clampons are more like an evolved form of the claptrap, so... Whatever they are, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, now before we, uh... Before we close off the episode... Or, not close off the episode, before we close off the stage, rather... Let's just, you know, use that tag team to get up there, and we finally got ourselves the, um... Red banana balloon, or a red D uh, Diddy Kong balloon, or whatever. So that way we could get an extra life. Okay, next stage is Clapper's Cavern. So this is going to be another, another uh, ice cavern level. But the only thing that we need to watch out for this level most of the time is Snapjaw. And yes, Snapjaw has returned to give us more trouble. Ugh, sneaky little devil. But once as we start swimming, then he shouldn't be that much of a problem. And it's such a it's such such a shame too that you can't even hurt Claptrap or a Snapjaw with uh, in guard as well because he doesn't appear. Okay, so uh, there's nothing over here, so let's just continue our way this way. And uh, there's some sure he's going to give us some trouble. Oh, cool! We hit them all without even. You know, losing Diddy Kong in the process. Or, or losing Engar in the process. Okay, there were some secret bananas inside that little small area there, so we got those. Which is very nice. It's always very nice. Oh! Come here! Come back, buddy! Back! Come back! Okay. Oh, gosh, that was close. Okay, now... Oh, crap! Watch out for Puffed Up there. Okay, let's go ahead and charge, and we get ourselves a secret area to go through. We need to find the token this time, and, uh, we need to push, uh, we need to push Engard all the way to the end by charging all the way to the end, and we should be able to get the next Crim Coin. Very good. Excellent. Excelente. Okay, so let's resume where we left off, and once we come up here, we're gonna have, a uh, Snapjaw to deal with again, and rightfully so, as we just see right there. Snapjaw is not going to be that nice to us. And rightfully so, because Snapjaw is anything but hurtable. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can try to get through the rest of the stage without even dying or whatever, so... Oh, dang it, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to throw the uh, thing. Oh, I died. Oh, it's okay. We'll try it again, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're finally back here, and uh, not really much else to say, you know, in terms of what's different or what I really think about some of the stuff in this game. It's pretty much the same as you already heard from past episodes, but uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's glad to do an, uh, it's good to do another live commentary for all of you and uh, 
and it seems like it's been a while since I've done this stuff, since October was kind of a hassle for me to get stuff done, because uh, when I was capturing footage for Kingdom Hearts, uh, yeah, for Kingdom Hearts, that uh, the footage that I was capturing for, or that I was capturing, uh, would uh, get glitchy whenever I used the HD PVR. But, whenever I used, uh, but when I used the DVD recorder with a different type of codec, then things would come along just fine. So, uh, yeah, that's why the live commentaries on the weekends were always delayed, because I kept running into, uh, technical difficulties with, uh, oh, crap. Actually, we're gonna have to try that all over again, so... Let's, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, get Diddy Kong back, and then we will fly our way up. And to make sure we don't hit any of the, uh, longer range, uh, critters. Or, not critters, but spinies on the way. But, yeah, that's why you haven't even seen, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 or any live commentaries in the past three weeks, was because the footage I've been capturing for Kingdom Hearts has been kind of, uh, hectic. As I had to, as I played through the game three times straight in order to find the right codec in order for the game to work properly. And uh, we get ourselves another hero coin for our trouble, so very nice. But yeah, it's just that the capturing footage for Kingdom Hearts has just been, ugh, gosh, something that I should have had done a couple weeks ago, but instead I've always had to keep playing the game to make sure, you know, I was getting the, uh, you know, the footage captured correctly and it was my first time trying to capture footage uh, footage for a PlayStation 2 game rather so it's not the same as if trying to capture footage off a PS3 or a Wii or a 360 or anything like that and uh, I know that using H.264 the H.264 uh, codec for PS2 footage is not good but uh, because whenever I uh, captured with the DVD recorder and used that codec on uh on, you know, on, when I re, ugh, gosh, what was I going to say? Whenever I used that codec on the uh, DVD footage that I captured, then the picture would become very distorted and there would be uh, visual glitches that would happen. So it wasn't cool to, uh, you know, to have uh, glitches like that. So that's why things were kind of hectic for me. My first time around... When capturing footage, I used the HD PVR, but there were some audio glitches or some vi some uh, v visual and audio glitches that would occur to uh, to make the footage kind of uh, cut off and distorted. And then I used uh, the DVD recorder with the H.264 codec as well on that one too, but uh, the visuals would always get distorted and blurry whenever I brought it into uh, Vegas and. Uh, the other thing was that, uh, and then when I did it the third time, everything just came out, you know, just fine. So we didn't, we didn't have to bother with that anymore. I mean, we no, I no longer had to bother with, you know, capturing, you know, footage for that game ever again, since we now have all the footage for the game in order to do the rest of the live commentary or whatever, or not live commentary, but the rest of the Let's Play. Oh, I just, I just committed suicide, didn't I? <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, the footage for Kingdom Hearts 2, or, I mean, Kingdom Hearts, has finally been completed, so, uh, I won't even have to worry about that anymore, and, uh, let's, uh, get back on track here. And you could probably tell from the footage from, um, uh, you know, from before when we were climb, you know, going through this stage that I grabbed Crim Coin number 20 when I went to Clapper's Cat, went back to Clapper's Cavern first, and got Crim Coin uh, 21. Well, that's that was because I grabbed Crim Coin 20 here first when I was doing, um, you know, when I was doing the video capturing, and then I went back to Clapper's Cavern to obtain the the uh, Hero Coin, and that's what you know through the bonus stage, and that's how I ended up getting uh, that's how I ended up getting the 21st uh, Crim Coin from there. So, uh, so I apologize if things were kind of wonky in terms of. Uh, or things came, seemed kind of weird and, you know, the footage that I showed in the incorrect order. But I just wanted to go ahead and show that, me, you know, me doing that first instead of, uh, you know, coming back. You know, going through this stage and then having to come back to the previous stage before this one. But, uh, yeah, 
everything is good now. So we no longer have to go back to Clapper's Cavern, and uh, we can continue our way through. And I think, uh, oh, things are going to get pretty hectic right here. And rightfully so, there are some uh, Necky Juniors giving us trouble. And they have pirate bandanas. Ha <laughs> ha! Actually, I don't really see them that fondly as pirates, but uh, oh well. Okay, this is actually going to be pretty tricky. Because we actually need to go through the, uh, we, excuse me, we need to go up the chain links in order to, uh, it, you know, in specific order in order to get past them from, you know, so that way the, uh, what is their name, before the cannons even hit us with the cannonballs. And uh, going through this part is kind of a bit tricky too. You need to watch out and make sure that these zingers are below you. And yeah, I know I was teabagging the ground, but <laughs> why did I just do that? <laughs> but um, anyways, we need to go down the ground. I mean, we need to have the zingers uh, uh, get past us, and then we'll go down before they do, and that way we can climb up the stage. But uh, actually, do I want to go up this way? No, 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 no. I do not want to do that just yet. Wait for the uh, zingers that are that we're climbing up to go back down, and then we will uh, climb up before they do. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 Dixie. <laughs> there we go. Okay, very good. So, oh, you made me lose a banana bunch. Thank you. We should be close to the end of the level now, so uh, let's just continue to make smooth sailing to the rest of this level called Changlink Chamber. Which is actually a very good name for this level. Oh, he made me lose an extra life! Oh! Bollocks to you! Okay. Alright, if that's how you want to play it, then... Fine. Okay, so that wasn't a, uh... That wasn't... A, uh... <laughs> a bonus stage. That was just actually the exit. I don't know why I checked to see if it was a bonus stage, but... Eh, who cares. Okay, so we have multiple pads here, but, uh... Anyway, um, I'm going to try to see if I can find the, uh, and I just committed suicide right there. Because I'm going to try and see if I, uh, if I can try to find the, uh, the hero coin here, so I'll be right back. Okay, now in order to do this, we're going to have to, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to, uh, get those guys. But anyway, let's just go down here and see if we can, uh, and there's a banana right over there, so I take it there's something, you know, this way. Let's go ahead and see. And rightfully so. And it does lead us to the hero coin. Why didn't I even think of that before? So, let's go to the next level now. But, first things first. Swanky's bonus bonanza. Okay, so we're gonna play some more games to earn some more lives. Like, we need any more of those, okay. What is the name of this area of the island? K. Rules Keep. Well done, let's have another. What is the name of the old man Kong who lives in a monkey museum? Cranky? That's what I'm looking for. Next one, please. Which of these enemies also appeared in Donkey Kong Country? Zinger the Wasp? There we go. All correct, folks. Didn't they do well? Okay, castle challenge. What's the name of the, the castle level with the rising floor? Castle Crush. All right, on to the next round. How many animal buddies can you ride in this game? Uh, five. You clever little monkey. Now listen carefully. What is the name of the flying ghost go coat Kremlin who throws objects at you? Cloak. Well played. Here, you deserve this. Okay, Big Ape Bounty. What is your spider buddy's name? Squitter? That's correct. Here's the next one. How many desks are there in Kong College? That's correct. Here's the next one. How many different baddies do you think are in the game? 30? Ouch. Yeah, I definitely think there's 30 baddies in this game, so... Uh... There we go. Yeah. We have a winner tonight, finally. If you fancy a game, you know my name. Thank you, Swanky. Okay, now it's time for us to go to Toxic Tower. This is the next level before we have to go to the final level of this world. Now, Toxic Tower. The toxic water is going to continuously rise, so you're going to need to get your butt in gear in order to get through this level. And uh, watch out for any of the uh, kaboings or whatever their names are, but, uh, yeah. This is one of those levels where things are gonna get tricky if you don't hurry up fast enough. So, you want to keep your butt in gear and to make sure that you don't 
slow down because the toxic is going to continually rise and you have to watch out for uh whatever is oh cool we got a hero coin right there didn't even notice that before but yes you know what i'm talking about the longer you stay down the 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 quicker that the toxic is going to rise and it's not going to give you enough time to catch up so you're going to want to keep your butt in gear and watch out for anything that you can jump on you know when you're playing as uh rattly here so that way you can uh continuously make your way upward like what we're doing right now and uh we should be uh getting close to getting out of here so that way we can get another animal buddy and yeah this is another level where there are multiple animal buddies that we can use and i think the next animal buddy is squawks and rightfully so okay so let's go ahead and climb up but let's grab that tag barrel first like we're gonna or not tag barrel but the checkpoint barrel and uh, let's just continuously start to climb up this place because the water is starting to rise more, but we need to get our butt in gear. We can actually get our butt in gear a lot faster with Squawks than we could with, uh, with Rattly. And uh, let's go through here first. What do we get when we go through here? Oh, some secrets. And we, had, and we avoided some zingers in the process. And uh, there's nothing over here that's worth... Oh, there's a letter N right there. And we didn't even collect any of the other uh, banana letters. Or, uh, the Kong letters, whatever. And, uh, there should be one more animal buddy that we have to use before we have to complete the level. Ow! Ouch! Stupid zingers. Why do there have to be red ones? When you can't even hurt them. Creeps. They're a lot worse than the... Uh, they're about the same... They're about the same in just... You know, to irritate you. They're the same level of irritation... When, uh, you fight against them in Donkey Kong 64, when they have the, uh, when, when they have the, uh, the lime grenades or whatever. And I think there was a bonus stage that way, but, uh, we'll have to come back to it after we have completed this level. Or, uh, when we have to look for the rest of the, uh, Krim coins before we go, you know, finish up with the Lost World. So, uh, let's just keep it at that. And, uh, I think we can go down here and grab some, uh... Ooh, got an extra life balloon there, and it was green too. Okay, so uh, there's not there's nothing up there that we can obtain, so we're just gonna have to finish this level as it is, and uh, let's make our way to the next one. And the next one should be the showdown against Captain K. Rule, <laughs> because it says Stronghold Showdown, but uh, but in secrecy. There is Donkey Kong right there, and we got another Krim coin. But, we did not save him. The developers trolled you right there, gamers. So, yes, there's the Flying Croc, and that's the world that we're going to go to next. So, are we going to save Donkey Kong from Captain K. Rule's clutches? Well, you'll have to find out in the next episode. Anyway, gamers, uh, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter with the links in the description. And if you like what you saw, be sure to rate this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave comments below to let me know what you guys thought of the episode. Anyway, gamers, take care of yourselves, and I shall see you next time for more DKC2 goodness as we go to the Flying Croc. Later, gamers!